Hey everyone, uh, Damien to the vid here from the Demon Network once more. Bring you a 3 vs 3 Dawn of Warsaw Storm replay on the Tharagora map. So, as you can see, we've got the top right team here and the bottom left team down here. So, top right team consists of Stone the General, W Lousy, Lozy. Oh, sorry, Stone General was the Imperial Guard. Yeah. Uh, w Lousy, or we'll just call him Lozy, as the Spes Marines, and of course, SK Warrior as the Dark Elder. And on the bottom right, we have uh, Frequer as the Elder player, Grokman as the Necrons, and uh, Arasami as the Space Marines again. So, that's still banner actually. Yeah, not bad. Too bad it's so uh, low resolution. Oh well. So, yeah, we'll just be focusing, um, or rather, we've, uh, as the main player that's being followed, or whatever you want to call it, um, chose, decided to choose uh, this Lozy guy, just to see what it does. So yeah, it's going a rather curious build. He's got a couple of scout marines, rather squads of scout marines, and he's actually starting off with sniper training, but also going with his chapel barracks as well. So interesting to see. Um, and it doesn't appear to be creating any troops. Maybe he's going to go for a fast tier two. Yep, he's going for a fast tier two. Wow. So it looks like yeah, he was. Um, oh no, he he cancelled it. Okay. Oh, just see what the other guys are doing. So. Seeing pretty usual stuff here. Oh, except um, seeing a bit of a different play style here, actually, from Stone General. He's uh, getting a tactical control, and he doesn't appear to have a um, a barracks building out yet, so it's pretty strange. That's probably the first time I've ever seen that being done by a uh, Imperial Guard player. And yeah, we've got the Hall of Blood standard stuff here, but look at this. SK Warrior is actually going for a fast tier 2 himself. And uh, yeah, looks like a yeah, Space Marine player. Lozy's decided to do the same. As for what's happening on the bottom left side, looks like we've got an early fast here for Frickware, which I don't see too often either, because usually fast are a bit, um, or rather they're usually used uh, later on in the game, but they can still be pretty effective, uh, provided that you keep them alive, of course, uh, if you put them, uh, or rather if you use them around the uh, early game. Yeah, so Grokman is going for a relatively early Necron Lord, and Arasami is also going for tier 2, so we're getting uh, Pretty early tier 2 starts by both players. Uh, for whatever reason though, it doesn't look like um, Lozy has uh, upgraded with uh, his uh, scout marines with um, sniper rifles. Oh, there we go, now he is. I thought if we were in there, was just going to let that upgrade go to waste, but no, he's upgraded it. And as you can see, it looks like uh, SK Warrior's actually got the stealth upgrade for his Mandrakes. <laughs> and yeah, Necron Lord teleported straight into the action. But of course, he can't see the Mandrakes and he can't just. Uh, you know, swing his little staff of light, uh, that's what it's called, a uh, staff light. You know, wildly around, so of course he's just going to stand, stand around and uh, do nothing. So yeah, it looks like SK Warriors actually managed to capture this um, listing post. His builder unit died, but a nice uh, feature of uh, Dark Elder buildings is that once you begin the construction, or rather, once you begin the construction using that particular building unit, um, the building just keeps on building itself, so. And yeah, it actually works on uh, allied buildings as well, provided that uh, the um, Dark Elder builder unit is the one who starts the construction off. But yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to do too much good though. This listing post is about to go down. Bam, down he goes. Alright. So yeah, it looks like Scout Marine has been upgraded with uh, plasma guns instead. Rather interesting option here. And yeah, our Samia has just not gone for uh, a barracks building at all. Well, uh, Lozy, he's building an armory and he's going for a uh, force command. At the same time, though, Grokman's doing a bit of harassment with his uh, Necron Lord. Well, he's probably tr just trying to do a bit of a um, scouting run as well. At the moment, though, it looks like as if the middle is in control of the top right team, but of course that could change at any moment. They don't really uh, have such a big army to, uh, to enforce that control. Yeah, just what's up in the bottom left. So we've got Flayed Ones being built for the Necron player. Not too much happening before this. Uh, ah, there we go. Looks like the uh, older player's gone into uh, to tier 2 as well. So, yeah, finally, the Force Commander has come out for uh, W Lousy. Or Lousy. And he is also building a Space Marine squad. Doesn't seem to be. Um, from what I can see, he doesn't appear to be going for any um, upgrades to in his armory. But look at this. He's actually called in a couple of uh, flayed ones to do some damage. Looks like things are going to get interesting here. Yeah, so we've got uh, one, two, three flayed ones, or is that a fourth one there? Yeah, four, four flayed squads, I think. It's kind of hard to differentiate them because they're all the, 
they all look the same, but they're all in uh, separate squads. So I think, yeah, there's actually f three or four squads. The flayed one's just wreaking havoc in the uh, Space Marine player's base. The Space Marine's being forced to retreat. Uh, Scourges would certainly want to retreat as well. As they won't be able to do mu too much damage with their Dark Lancers anyway, because the Dark Lancers are really meant to be used uh, against vehicles. So, there we go. Jumping them at back at just the right moment. And uh, yeah, it looks like Velozzi, for whatever reason, um, okay. It wasn't Mark from his troops much, but yeah, I suppose he only had, yeah. only had one uh, flayed one trying to disrupt them. So, yeah, Force Commander is going to bravely fight them off while the um, Space Marines basically uh, support from behind. So, yeah, as for what these flayed ones have done, I don't. Um, it doesn't look like as if they've done any damage uh, to, to infrastructure. I mean, they've been able to keep. Um, oh, here we go, got another squad of flayed ones coming out. So, yeah, they've been able to keep the top right team pretty busy. But, um, yeah, they haven't actually done any damage to infrastructure just yet. Yeah, there you go, just attending to something uh, for a second there. See, so, yeah, interesting enough though, the um, Necron player's still opting to leave his Necron Lord behind, but he's really going to want to uh, get him out of there when his uh, health drops down, so... Probably uh, aiming to do that at the very last second. That's kind of funny, Priest uh, trying to join in the fun there, but um, actually he's not doing too badly. I mean, he's getting flung around, but he's not actually suffering that much damage, as you can see, so. And we've got a uh, Land Speeder Tempest with Frag Missiles being used by our uh, Sammy. So actually, here's a quick tip, um, if you happen to be playing Space Marines and using uh, Land Speeder Tempests. Um, yeah, you get frag missiles which are good against infantry and crack missiles which are meant to be good against vehicles and buildings. Uh, but the thing is, if you actually look at the damage statistics for both of these missiles, uh, crack missiles, they don't actually do that much less damage to infantry units compared to the uh, frag missiles and they do very good damage against uh, buildings and uh, vehicles of course. So usually, even if um, you're facing quite a few infantry units, you usually would be better off um, going with crack missiles because they still do decent amounts of damage to um, infantry units. Uh, they can still disrupt inf infantry units. And yeah, they uh, have, of course, have that, have that added bonus of uh, doing crap loads of damage to um, vehicles and buildings. So, yeah, it looks like the slave chamber's been converted into a uh, torture pit, but for whatever reason, uh, SK Warrior's not harvesting the soul essence from there. Although, actually, I don't see any souls around there, so it's possible he might have just built it just then, so just waiting for Four the uh, minutes until first soul to come out. And yeah, the middle's still captured by the uh, top right team. And yeah, as you heard, uh, four they've got four minutes until um, yeah, until they win their game, basically. So if they can hold the middle, they are doing pretty well, to say the least. So yeah, for whatever reason, though, it looks like, um, aside from that Necron harassment, which wasn't too shabby, really, um, the bottom left team doesn't seem to have really uh, done in any uh, frontal assaults on the uh, in this middle region. They don't even have anything fortified there. Do have mass of uh, elder troops here though, and wow, that's rather overkill. Anyway, um, and yeah, just building a couple of buildings here. Space Marines are just taking up. They're up to tier three. Walk softly and carry a big gun. Indeed, and Losey, I think, is still at tier two, but um, I don't know. He's got more troops, I suppose, than uh, than our Sammy does. Oh, there's floating quite a few resources, really. Ah, oh, there you go, so yeah. Victory. Now that I'm starting to have the soul essence. And yeah, we're getting some uh, some of the usual uh, upgrades for the Dark Elder players. Getting the retinue upgrade for his Archon Squad. He's getting Poison Blade and he's going for Demonic Corruption as well. well which to me says he's probably going to be um, relying on the Mandrakes a bit more heavily. But uh, yes, yeah, so he's got a squad here. Oh, and he's got a squad here. So I suppose, yeah, that's... Um, Upgrade will uh, most likely be worthwhile, although probably be better off sending off this uh, Mandrake squad and this priest as well, um, Imperial Guard to send that priest as well, uh, into the fray there. They're not really going to do too much, and even if the Necron Lord does come back to life, well, I reckon he could still be dispatched um, if need be, even if he summons in the crap load of uh, flayed ones. But, uh, oh, what the hell. So we'll just a little bit left in reserve, and uh, yeah, as you can see, the middle critification is being uh, slowly decapped. And let's just see if they actually managed to do that. 
Yep, looks like middle's been the, been the cap, so... Yeah. There goes the uh, victory condition for the top right team. Looks like they might have to actually uh, fight it out against the um, bottom left team. We've got a whole bunch of flayed ones being uh, summoned here. Looks like uh, SK Warriors, I think, maybe concentrating on... Uh, yeah, I think he's concentrating on the middle too much to um, see what's happening here. But the problem is... Ah, oh, there we go, now he jumps some way. But the problem, of course, is this Scourge is then pretty good jumpy um, or jumping uh, ranged units, but they're kind of fragile, so... Yeah, you'd really have to watch out for um, units engaging them in the melee like that. I mean, they can, they can jump around for a reason. Anyway, at the same time, we've got a bit of harassment by our Sammy. Oh, looks like he's actually teleporting a Dreadnought, so he might be able to um, do some decent, decent damage. And an Assault Terminator squad. They're coming in, that's a little bit of damage. Thankfully got a Sentinel here, should be able to destroy the uh, Dreadnought. And yeah, this is rather unfortunate because um, for our Sammy, with his uh, and speed of Tempest, because his Katia's only got a crack, uh, Frag Missiles upgraded instead of uh, Crack Missiles. So if he had Crack Missiles upgraded, I'd say he would have had a much better chance of taking down the HQ building. Although I'd say he probably would have been better off going for more fragile buildings, such as these uh, Plasma Generators. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see, instead of destroying a Plasma Generator, possibly two, he managed to just take, take off a uh, chunk of health on the uh, HQ building. Or headquarters. So yeah, we've got a Dreadnought actually being built by... W. Losey is going to tier 3 and he's building a sacred artifact as well, so we'll probably be seeing some more uh, elite troops and uh, possibly commanders being used. Yeah, so Terminator is uh, chasing down last of these um, scourges. It looks like, yeah, they're not really being uh, tended to in any way. Yeah, down they go. Ah, there we go. Looks like um, our Sam is finally going uh, for soft tar targets, and as you can see, it really is making a bit of a difference there. See how quickly. These buildings go down even to a single dreadnought. And yeah, down goes the second one. And at the same time, though, we had a bit of a battle uh, happening here. It's um, yeah, been decided, though. Top right team managed to f fend off the assault by the bottom left team. But uh, this dreadnought has caused a bit of trouble, though. It has managed to kill off uh, two power plants, or plasma generators, should I say. Actually, yeah, it looks like this uh, Dark Order player will be focusing pretty heavily on Soul Essence because they've got some. Um, yeah, sorry about that, I just had to sneeze for a second. Anyway, they got um, two slave chambers uh, converted to um, torch bits to uh, ha handle those, that, uh, or rather to um, generate that soul, uh, souls that can be housed for soul essence, should I say. So yeah, we've got elite troops coming out, we've got librarian, squad cap, nothing from the machine cult though. So yeah, pretty standard stuff. They've upgraded Scout Marines. And yeah, pretty. They upgraded uh, Space Marines as well. So, yeah, pretty standard uh, stuff. Um, I was kind of hoping to see maybe um, something like a, uh, a Grey Knight squad uh, coupled with the, lo the uh, Chaplain. Uh, I mean, Space Marine player could certainly afford that, but yeah, for whatever reason, he's not going to do that. Yeah, but it looks like uh, Sammy would beat this Dreadnought um, if it weren't for the supporting troops. So, yeah, now he's just getting. Uh, Caught out, and yeah, it looks like there was a bit of um, harassment being done by these scourges. Looks like they, yeah, they're just being sent back to deal with this uh, dreadnought. And at the same time, I think this assault terminator squad actually teleported um, up onto this ridge here, and yeah, they're going to be uh, decapping this critical location. Although we do have one, and yeah, second critical location is still captured, so they're going to have to decap either this one, or it might be a bit easier to actually just decap this critical location. So there goes this critical location. Wow, getting harassed pretty heavily by these scourges that every day. And yeah, it looks like yeah, this critical location is being done as well. And there you go, it looks like we've got the Soulstorm built here being used by the uh, Dark Elder player. Oh, actually, I think I might just... there we go, saw that. Fortunately, he's not moving the Soulstorm around for whatever... ah, there we go, now he is. It's kind of ridiculous, really, just uh, moving around like that. And yeah, now it's the spear. So, we should do um, a yeah, hefty amount of damage, I suppose, to a whole bunch of troops. So it will certainly make a difference, um, given that we ha seem to be uh, having what might be the last battle, actually, uh, of the match between these uh, two teams. We've got a couple of minutes left, relatively even on uh, critical locations captured, and the other one's decapped. And yeah, it looks like both teams are finally uh, throwing in all their troops into the fray to see uh, just who can actually break through 
uh, to the uh, other team's bases and yeah, to hopefully destroy a bit of the infrastructure at the same time. So at the moment though, it looks like the uh, bottom of team is hanging back a bit for whatever reason, not entirely sure why, because that basically means an entire squad of flayed ones were just wasted um, on this uh, top right team. So yeah, it looks like they're slowly retreating. So we've got the uh, Seer Council coupled with the uh, Tharsia, so a pretty lethal combination. Because yeah, if, uh, the Seers, I think, yeah, they get commander armor, and uh, if each um, member in the Seer Council basically uh, recharges the uh, Farseer's ability to get faster as well. So, yeah, we've got a full squad Farseer, pretty uh, damn good combination. So, we've got uh, elite troops being used by um, yeah, pretty much all sides. The only thing we're not, not really seeing at the moment is um, the uh, super units. Yeah, it looks like these assault terminators are going to try to teleport away. I think only one managed to teleport though. Didn't quite see where they went though. Ah, there we go. And well, you know, we actually got a squad dropping in here, so didn't quite see um, who was providing vision for that though. But um, yeah, it looks like they're going to be re wreaking a bit of havoc here. Do have a defending dreadnought by our Sammy and a predator tank though, so. But at the same time though, we've got elite troops being used by Lozi. And they are just calling down the uh, orbital of the bombardment to do uh, some damage to these structures. Yeah, it's not such a bad cluster of structures really to target because um, if you uh, aim the uh, orbital of the bombardments correctly, you should be able to at least destroy. Yep, yeah, there we go. Destroy almost all of those uh, plasma generators. Almost being able to destroy this one and doing a bit of damage to the predator and the armory at the same time. So, so it looks <laughs> not bad. Good. Flayed squad um, coming in, but as you can see, they're getting uh, torn up by these dreadnoughts. Although, I don't know why Lozi is not moving off his um, Terminator squad though, because yeah, they're not really doing, they don't do much damage in um, in melee, even though they have a, their own power fist. So, yeah, it looks like uh, Lozi is just concentrating completely on the uh, infrastructure of our Sammy, if not getting targeted by that predator. And at the same time, though, we've got a bit of an <laughs> oh, that's good. Got a bit of an engagement on the uh, through the middle here. Looks like the uh, elder arm is getting wiped out as well. So it's yeah, unfortunately I can't cover both of these at once. Or maybe I could. Actually, I could if I recorded two separate videos. But yeah, I don't really want to, um, to do that. And yeah, it looks like the dreadnought barely managing to escape there. It looks like he was targeted by the poison blades because he was glowing and uh, was losing health. But he's actually uh, regaining health now. That's interesting. I didn't notice. Um, Necron vehicles actually regaining health when they're not in combat. Huh, I'll be damned. Interesting um, thing to use. But at the same time, I just noticed we actually got um, fire dragons being uh, thrown into the mix. But yeah, as you can see, the um, base has been destroyed, or rather, the uh, has been destroyed. But um, that space room player at the bottom there has decided to leave the game, which is rather unfortunate. So yeah, chances are the uh, bottom of team will now get. Uh, slowly destroyed, which is a shame really, because um, I'd say they still had a bit of a chance, especially when they uh, teleported in a squad of flayed ones and uh, fire dragons to do some damage to the uh, infrastructure of the Imperial Guard, but yeah, what can you do? At the very least, the Necron uh, players deciding to uh, make a rather glorious uh, last stand, and the uh, Elder player, well, they're putting in a Seer Council, why not? Eh? But yeah, given we barely have any time left, chance say so yeah, we'll see the uh, bottom left team getting uh, slowly destroyed. Probably going to leave the game. Yep. And yeah, there they go as well. So yeah, not such a bad game really. Um, bit of back and forth action. Yeah, some pretty good uh, use of drops actually uh, being used around here and around uh, this location as well. So yeah, I'll be uploading this game and perhaps <coughs> sorry, perhaps one more game a bit later on. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and uh, yeah, hope everyone has a uh, nice little Easter. You know, hope everyone buys all those overpriced eggs and all that. Why not? <laughs> so there you go. This has been uh, Damien Dudovich signing off.